Okay guys, welcome back to the YouTube Marketing Channel. I am your host, Marlon, and today we want to discuss our future in terms of how we make money on YouTube platform. And we see of recent where the big um, advertisers who are advertising with YouTube have pulled back or you said boycott um, spending any form of money with YouTube. And we can see where over the past few weeks that our ad revenue have been decreasing rapidly as well. And also that forces YouTube now to go and you know, revamp also their their terms of conditions and different things and policies and stuff like that. And also how it will be affecting new YouTubers coming into the business. Right now they have a new one where before your channel can actually earn any kind of revenue, you have to have over 10,000 views first and then, then they can assess your channel to see how eligible it is in terms of uh, monetization. So for new YouTubers coming in, it's going to be a difficult task to get in in terms of monetization and stuff like that. And also YouTubers which are already here. I mean, there are like countless amount of YouTubers which have their account being banned slash videos being slash videos being demonetized and stuff like that. Given the fact that um, now these advertisers want to have more hands or more control into what video is going to be uploaded in terms of um, the upload platform of YouTube and what they think that are advertiser friendly. And here's the thing as well. I mean, if you look on YouTube where you have entertainment and you see like musicians and stuff like that who have their videos up on YouTube and monitor and, and Vimeo and also they monetize those videos on, on this platform called YouTube. They themselves have drugs, um, also mostly um, nudity. They also have, like I said, swearing and different derogative things happening to those videos. But yet still these videos still plays on YouTube and also still able to run ad revenue being our ads have been placed over these videos. So how can those videos be acceptable but videos that we make is a problem. And also you take for example in Hollywood where you have loads of those um, big movies coming out of Hollywood which are being um, advertised through the um, YouTube platform. And these advertisers are still going to put the, the, the ads up in these um, films. And yes, there are going to be one, um, two to three minutes um, movie trailers. But they still have, like I said, profanity. They still have guns, violent drugs, sex, and racist slurs and different humans in these ones. But how comes all of these um, movies, um, trailers still exist and still uploading on a day-to-day -day basis? But when it comes to us creators now, we have to take the full blunt of different things which they are trying to protrude. But to be frank, I do believe this go deeper than this. It's not just a few videos which, you know what I mean, might be censored in a certain way where it might be have certain kind of propaganda where it be ISIS or any other group. I mean, what was the problem before ISIS? ISIS is just under 10 years of age. I mean, let's be honest. So what was the big problem before this situation? You know what I mean? So. I think the whole cause of this is the fact that the, the media itself and also the Wall Street, they want to control, you know, expression of speech or you call it free speech. That's what's, what's happening. So they want to tell us what we can monetize and what we can't monetize. And in the long run, you're going to affect us creators. So we're going to have to find ways and mean how we can be able to make money on this platform or other platform while we still, you know, try to make our way or find our ways through the maze here on YouTube. So like I said, don't fall for it. It's just uh, kind of smoke screen they're using that to, you know, get more control of the system because YouTube is a platform that is outshining even the so-called medias. So they have to come after YouTube. Let's be honest. This is a place where we can do a research. We can bring forward certain facts or different opinions and share our opinions. All of it is not hatred. I guess at least 80% of what I share on YouTube is very valuable, but to them it's a threat. So they have to come after this platform. So like I said, don't let this discourage you. Find different ways how you can able to monetize your content on different platform or promote certain stuff which can you know generate a certain form of income for you and also for your family because we're doing YouTube and not just because we're bored. We're doing it because we have something to share. We have our contents or we got our information to share with our audience and also in return if we can make a bit of money on the side then that's why we're doing it. You know what I mean? So try, don't let this discourage you or affect you. Just find different ways how you can, you know, find ways how you can monetize your contents and also promote different things. 
You can have maybe an ebook. You can have a product or a service that you're you're promoting and generating the traffic towards those products or those services, and have your your viewers and also the customers to come and you know support your own cause. Because like I said, so this is just my two cents on the whole situation. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos and how to improve and grow on YouTube and also make more money as well. You can check out my other previous videos which I already made already, and also subscribe. So thank you very much and have a blessed day. Peace.